Now then, uh, Perry, today the uh, groups were announced for the um, GB team uh, in the Olympics in July. And this is what we've got. Great Britain have got... It doesn't look like that's looking at the name Great Britain in a, in a football draw. Great Britain with Senegal, UAE and Uruguay. UAE right off. Senegal, they've got some very good players, as evidenced of uh, the players at Newcastle and, of course, Patrick Vieira from the past. Uruguay will take it seriously, you say. Yeah, definitely. Um, it would be interesting who their three overage players are. Yep. You've got uh, Luis Suarez, you've yes. got Cavani at uh, Napoli, Lugano, who's their captain, yep. is really yep. experienced. Yep. You've got Cotes, who he'll play because he's, he's um, yes. eligible because of his, he's only like 20. Yeah, sure. So Uruguay normally take uh, competition like this pretty seriously. Yeah, they, 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 put... they, they do. Stuart Pearce has got three jobs at the moment. This is one of them. So he's concentrating on on GB at the moment. Did you hear him talking about it today? Yeah, I've uh, heard his press, press conferences. And, and, um, and what do you think? Um, I'm going to reserve judgment until uh, he names his squad. I think he names his squad uh, middle of May because yep. obviously he okay. can't have anybody who's going to Euro 2012. Yeah. And if there's one name in it, yep. then I know I think he's not takes it it's a joke if there's not one name in yeah. it then I'll, I'll actually get more into it so probably talking about Beckham let's see one of the um, salient quotes of what Stuart Pearce had to say today the squad may not reflect every home nation and celebrity but they will be the best 18 players with the best opportunity to deliver a gold that's my only criteria so out of that statement yes. what, what jumps out of you out of that statement well, David Beckham's not going to be in have it. you ever seen any other football statement ever yeah. with the word celebrity no, of course involving not. a football of course team. It, right. should, it, should, it shouldn't even be a consideration right so I'm taking from he that. He sells tickets. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking from that that I think he's going to go and see him play for LA Galaxy. Yeah. But is he setting up to say, I'm going to go and look at him playing yeah. and he's not going to be? Because he wouldn't get on football yeah. reasons only. He wouldn't get in a final squad of 18. No, exactly. Even out of the exactly. 23 players that go into the Euros exactly. of England, he wouldn't get into a final squad of 18. So if he's in it, yeah. I think most... Um, Fervent football fans yep. won't take the competition seriously. Well, I don't think they take it seriously. I think anyway. they will. I think if he's not in it and yeah. it's an exciting squad, yeah. I think this country, being well, a football nation, will get okay. behind them. A, I don't think um, Stuart Pearce should be in charge of it. I think he's got far too many other things to do, particularly in the absence of a full time England manager. We don't know who that is yet. Full time England captain. Uh, I don't think he should be doing it. He's got three jobs on. And I just think um, we've got Mick Dennis joining us now up on the Skype wall. Mick, Daily Express journalist. Mick, thanks very much indeed. Mate, look at your column today as well. My argument with this, Mick, the Olympic thing is, is that it's second-rate football and surely the whole essence of the Olympics was the pursuit of excellence from the day the Olympics started. This is not the pursuit of excellence because the best well, footballers in the world are not going to be in it. Sorry, Mike. No, I mean, it's, it's, you know, the Olympics is the pinnacle for athletes but it's not for tennis players it's certainly not for footballers it's it, it's turned into this sort of development tournament with mostly under 23s there are lots of issues mike i mean it's it's bonkers that pierce is doing three jobs what yeah. on earth are they playing at and and there was talk that he may actually name our euro squad yeah. you know let's deal with let's deal with that first england are through to the finals of a major tournament and we're not worried about who the manager is we're stuart pierce says he's not good enough to do a job long term, but we're letting him do all the pre-tournament planning and may even name the squad. That's madness. Mm. As far as the Olympics is concerned, I think I think Beckham will be in it. And I think he'll be in it because we didn't we hadn't entered this the Olympic football for since nineteen seventy two because mm. of all the ramifications. But yeah. in order to get the games to London, we promised them we would enter the we would enter a, a football team. And Beckham was very much part of of the bid process, and I'm sure that part of the deal is he'll play and sell tickets. So, and and yeah. it's it's uh, I, I'm 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 really um, ambivalent about it because I understand the appeal to people like uh, Bale and uh, Bellamy if he's mm. going to be an old, overage player because you know Wales have only ever been in one major finals in 1958. Yeah. If you're Gareth Bale, your only chance of lining up in a in a proper tournament is is to play in this. And as a fan, I wouldn't mind seeing. Bellamy on one flank and Bale on another, centering for somebody. But it, but I think it will do lasting damage to the game because FIFA hate us and they yeah. will use it as an opportunity to to strip away powers of individual nations. Mick, totally but agree. don't you think us being a football nation, obviously which we are, I think it all hinders or it hinges on David Beckham's inclusion because I think real proper football fans, if yeah. he's included in that 18, then it will have no credibility. Whatsoever, but probably if he's not including that 18, there's uh, uh, a load of young English players. And he said like Ryan Giggs is in there, Chris Brunt is in there from mm. North Ireland. Mm. Then I think some England fans uh, and um, Britain fans, football fans, would get behind it. But if Beckham's in it, then it loses credibility completely. Yeah, I think I think the difficulty, Perry, is is you know the England players and the European the, the Euros. Yeah. You know, so that's gonna that's gonna take all of our 
really first choice players and and I think that I think it's a done deal. I might be completely wrong. I think I think that uh, they, Beckham has almost been promised a place. I, I I thought it was an interesting quote where he said about uh, you know it's not based on celebrity. But what what has placed that thought in his mind? The fact that it obviously is based mm, on celebrity. Yeah. I think I think he's going to go out there and say you know what enough playing well that boy. Yeah. But, yeah. I hope I'm wrong, Perry, because I agree with you. Uh, Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.